Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today I have a wireless router for you and this one is called the Xiaomi R1D wireless router and I know I've got so many Xiaomi products in the past uh, month or so. So at the beginning I was very skeptical about this router because I already have one, it's an AC router, dual band Wi-Fi and so on and it does work um, very good. So what's so special about this one? First of all, it costs around $130. So it's not that expensive. It's uh, basically the same price for most routers these days. But what's special about this, we have a hard drive inside. So we have a one terabyte hard drive inside. And that's very important because you can access that uh, terabyte uh, inside this uh, hard drive pretty much anywhere on the network and from any device. So that's what makes this router special. So of course we have dual band Wi-Fi uh, on this one as well. The router itself it's rather small and looks kind of appealing. So on the top side um, we have some shinier plastic and the Mi logo. On the sides we have some holes so it doesn't overheat. And on the front we just find an LED that turns either blue or green or yellow depending on what's happening with the router. And on the back we have um, a couple of uh, network adapter ports. We also have a USB port um, on the back of this router and uh, that USB port it's great because you can connect uh, an external hard drive, a USB stick, anything like that and then you can access uh, that right from the network. So that's a very cool uh, feature to have. Aside from that we have the little reset button and uh, the power adapter port. There is a user manual that comes with the router that's going to show you how to actually set this up and it literally takes you one minute to set the entire router up, so very very quick. There is an easier way than actually following the manual, so if you have an Android device you can just go to the Google Play Store and download this app. And when you download this app you just open it and it's going to take you through the setup step by step. You do have to have a Xiaomi account, so you just uh, register for one or um, you make a new account. For me personally, because I use a Xiaomi phone, it was very simple. I just pressed sign in and uh, I didn't even have to enter my password. So it's very easy. So after you set this up, you have a lot of options available. All right. So after you've connected the router and uh, you're actually connected to the internet from the router. So to one of those bands, uh, either the 5 gigahertz or the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks, you can open uh, the setup for the router right from your computer or from your phone, depending uh, what you're using. If you use the computer, you just go to mywifi.com and it's gonna ask you to enter your password for the router. And then you open the setup um, for the router. And then uh, you can change pretty much anything. You can see how much storage you have um, available um, on the hard drive inside. You can change users, you can give access to users. Um, and a very important feature for a lot of us that uh, use uh, TV boxes uh, to watch some movies that uh, we shouldn't be watching. Uh, there is a VPN built in right there. So if you sign in uh, with a VPN there uh, in the options, you basically don't have to do anything on the TV box or uh, on the computer or anything like that because uh, all the data is basically going to go through that uh, VPN right uh, through the router so you don't have to do anything. Of course the speeds are going to be slower if you use that VPN but you can just uh, turn on and off that uh, whenever you use it. And that's where the app comes in. So the app, the Android app that we get, it's also very useful. We get the exact same setup that uh, you've seen on the computer there. So you have access to pretty much anything that um, there is uh, in the setup there. So you can just turn on or off uh, the VPN uh, right from your uh, app. So all you have to do is take out uh, your phone and uh, enter the app. So very, very useful. And again, when you have the app uh, installed on your phone, uh, you can access all the files that you have uh, there. Now, to actually upload the uh, stuff on the hard drive, uh, all you have to do on the phone is just press upload and then you choose uh, whatever file you want to upload and where should uh, that file be uploaded. And all of a sudden it's going to start uploading and everybody on the network is going to have access uh, to that file. So that's very useful if you have like pictures and stuff like that that you want to share with everyone and this way you don't actually have to like uh, show them their phone. You can just uh, put it on the hard drive there and everybody can access it. So this could be useful if you have like movies and stuff like that and you want to watch movies. And since I'm talking about movies, this actually works very good with coding. So let's say that you upload a file uh, on the hard drive there, a movie or whatever. And I'm actually going to show you a file that um, 
I uh, just uploaded today, it's a video from outside, so a lot of snow. So all you have to do is open uh, my files there, my videos, and uh, just uh, search for the router, and then you can access um, whatever it's on the hard drive. So that's easy. And of course it does work uh, very good because I have the TV box connected to the router through a cable. Now I use the, the Wi-Fi uh, to watch the same file on the computers. Uh, both computers uh, that I use are actually connected uh, through Wi-Fi. I don't uh, use cables and it does work uh, very good uh, to watch the same files uh, over Wi-Fi. If I try to use or watch that file on the phone for some reason, uh, it buffers quite a lot. So I'm not sure if it has to do with the phone or uh, the connectivity. But um, yeah, on the computers that are still connected, the uh, 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, is, uh, it works really good. But on the phone, it uh, buffers every now and then. So I'm not sure why that's um, happening. So to access the hard drive from your computer, either a, a Windows machine or a Mac, all you have to do is go to your shared uh, files or network and you're going to find uh, the router, whatever uh, name you have for the router, and you're going to find it in there. And you just click on it and you can see whatever um, files are available. So very, very simple and uh, easy to do. You don't actually have to do anything. Basically, you just plug this in and you connect uh, to the same network as the router. So that easy. I've also checked the speeds over Wi-Fi because realistically I don't have anything connected um, with a cable except for the TV box and the speeds on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network um, aren't the absolute best but uh, it's the same with my other router I get about 40-50 download but on the 5 GHz uh, Wi-Fi network it basically maximizes uh, the download speed uh, from my provider. I don't have the fastest internet, but um, yeah, on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, the download speeds are um, very, very good. So overall, the connectivity, you can actually set the connectivity level, uh, like the power of the Wi-Fi uh, from the router. And I've had it set to maximum and uh, I was connected to the router uh, throughout the house, like uh, pretty much everywhere. So the exact same uh, connectivity as I have with my other router um, that I got from my internet provider. So as skeptical as I was about this router at the beginning, now I'm actually in love with it. That hard drive inside makes such a big difference, uh, at least in my case, because uh, I do edit a lot of videos, I send files uh, all the time. So now I'm not going to actually have to connect uh, like a cable from the phone to the computer or anything like that. I can just send the file uh, to the server, well, the router basically, the server, and then I can just access that and copy it on my... Uh, computer. It's the same for movies. If you have movies that you want to watch um, and you have them on the computer and you want to watch them uh, on the TV, it's just so simple to like drag and drop uh, in the hard drive here in this basically and then access uh, that. I love the fact that you can uh, see what users are connected. You can limit uh, the bandwidth for each user. So let's say you have like a roommate uh, or something like that that downloads all day and night. Well, you can just go... Uh, and the limit their bandwidth so they don't actually slow down your internet. Just give them a slow limit, but don't tell them that. So yeah, overall I'm really, really impressed uh, by this router and this has become uh, my favorite uh, thing uh, for the moment. All right guys, hopefully this video was useful. Um, if you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.